well, as you know, we've had three homicides in, in three days, so to speak. So the investigation team is actually running full speed, pumping in energy from every direction they can. Uh, so, so thus far in the investigation, they haven't found anything to relate any of the three of them. So there are three separate investigations going on simultaneously as we speak. If they reside in the neighborhoods in, in which any of these three homicides occurred, if they have any information, do not hesitate to call us about anything. Don't think it's too small or think we may already know it. All information is good information for us right now. Like I said, we're early in the investigation parts on all three investigations, so we want to look at every angle we can to make sure that we show up any, any open spots that we need to. As you know, last year we had murders. The year before that we had quite a lot. 19, that, that bothers me. I have teenage kids. Not that the age matters in, in, in death, but it's one of those deals. The age is getting younger and younger. And these kids playing with the guns, and I say playing with them because they can't respect what that machine can do if they're, they're dying at the hand of it because they're, they're likening it to a game system is what, what we feel. They need to learn how to have conflict resolution. If they have an issue that they don't know how to deal with, they need to seek guidance from somebody else. Taking the issue to their own hands with a gun, that's not the answer.